Hey everybody, it's Ray here, and I just wanted to do a quick video about Stream Reel. If you haven't checked this out yet, you really need to. This is a very, very cool program that's going to allow you to not only stream out live stream, but also use existing videos and send them out as a live stream and do it to multiple locations at the same time. So let's take a quick look here. I'm on the main dashboard, but you can go to broadcasts, integrations, and of course you've got help here. But I'm gonna to go to integrations to start off. So you can kind of see how this works. So you can see I've got a bunch of different um, locations for the live stream to go that are in here. I've got a bunch of YouTube channels. I've got some Facebook pages, etc., all inside of here. Now, you may notice here that the YouTube, it says it's not connected. I actually connected the YouTube using the RM RTMP instead of the actual YouTube connection. And that's just because I've got the, uh, the, the keys and everything. So I just use that instead. And the way that works is very simple. You click this here, you put in the URL, you put in the key, and then that's gonna make the connection. And that's why we did it that way for, and you do that with LinkedIn as well. And then any other services that use RTMP, you can do that as well. Uh, I don't have a Twitch, so there's no Twitch in there. And then I got a bunch of different Facebook pages and groups that are attached here. And to connect those, all you have to do is hit connect and it's gonna bring up a little box here and we can choose what one we want to add into here. So let's see if there's any other ones. Uh, YouTube cards, we'll add that one in there. Okay, hit connect. And boom, so now YouTube cards, Facebook pages in here as well. And so now we can go live to any of these or multiples of these at the exact same time. And just to clarify, um, some people have asked you, well, wait a minute, Facebook doesn't allow you to go live to multiple places. And that used to be the case. They removed that restriction back a while ago. So you can go live to Facebook in multiple places and YouTube at the same time and LinkedIn at the same time. And it's not a violation of Facebook's terms of service anymore. Uh, it used to be. So that was correct at one point. So now when we come here, we're going to go to the dashboard and you can see we've got this broadcast now button. And so here you can choose where you want to broadcast to. You give it a title, give it a description. You can even schedule it out. And so let's just randomly, we'll just choose, uh, we're not really gonna go live because I don't have anything to say that <laughs> wouldn't make sense to go live with. So we'll just choose a couple of them there, but you can choose as many of these as you want. Um, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna just call this uh, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And then down here, if you wanna schedule something, you can actually set up a schedule um, and you can choose your time and your date, but we're actually just gonna do it straight up here. So we're gonna hit create broadcast. Now when we do that, that's gonna take us to the page that's going to set up the camera and mic, because in this case here, hi, we're gonna go uh, directly with the camera and mic. Um, when you're inside, I'm inside a Chrome, uh, make sure that you, it, the first time it's gonna ask you if you allow that, so make sure you do that. And then of course, if you need to change any of this, um, right now I've got my good microphone and I've got the FaceTime, but if I was gonna use my good webcam, then I would go in and manage that and change that. Because um, for whatever reason, and I don't understand the whole Chrome thing, it doesn't let me change it here, but I can hit manage and that will bring me in here and then I can make any changes that I want to to that, but uh, obviously we'll leave that the way it is for now. And then we're gonna give myself a name here. I'm just gonna call myself Ray, good idea. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter studio. And this is where it gets really cool because check out this studio. How cool is this? Okay, so over here, you can change how many places you're broadcasting to. Again, you can give this a new name. You can give it a new description. Down here, you can turn on thumbnails and drag a thumbnail into there if you want to. And down here, you can change that schedule. If you decide you wanna do a schedule, you can do that in here as well. And then, over here, you've got a lot of different tools that you can use. So you've got your broadcast tools here, so you can mute, you can stop the camera, you can share your screen, you can invite, and you can even add videos to this. And of course, you can do customizations. So this allows you to do different texts that are on the screen and whatnot. You can add an overlay, you can add a logo, you can add another video, background, etc. And then you can also do banners. So if you wanna have a banner in there, you can have that. So we could put, you know, a uh, heading in there. So let's say your raise live stuff <laughs> and that's going to allow you to put the banner into there okay and there it is we raise live stuff awesome now you'll notice down here by the way you can actually you can actually split, split this up, this up. Woo, you can hear myself. Hear myself and you can break that up into different things you can even do like a presentation mode if you wanted to or a full presentation okay and then coming up here 
You can hit music if you want to add music. You can do that. You can also upload audio, which is good because I'm giving you guys a ton of bonuses that have music in them, including seven brandy spanking new uh, packages of, of music that I just uploaded to our in stock music service today. So you got a whole bunch of new ones. And then, of course, you got your comments area. This is where you can res respond to any comments as they go on. And then once you're ready, you can go live over here. So you can record only or you can go live. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go live right now because I'm doing this video and it'd be a little weird, but you can go live and it's going to send this video out to the different services that you set up. So overall, I mean, great little program. Uh, again, you know, the fact that you can come in here and you can go live to a bunch of these different things, uh, LinkedIn and YouTube channels and Facebook pages and everything else is really, really cool. And it's going to allow you to get your message out there without having to do it multiple times with one exception. And that would be Instagram. Uh, well, actually two, because TikTok and Instagram do not allow uh, third party integration for doing live videos. So they're not here. Maybe someday when they decide to upgrade their stuff, it'll be on here. Um, but unfortunately, none of the uh, multi-stream services can actually go to Instagram because of that particular reason. So maybe someday. All right. So that's it for Stream Reel. As I said, we got a lot of great bonuses for you to check out, including some videos that you can use, uh, stock videos. We got the music. We've got the uh, backgrounds. We've got the uh, the YouTube live training and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So be sure to check all of that out. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer those for you. But check it out. This is a really, really cool program. I'm still learning it. But so far, very, very cool stuff. And considering that you don't have to pay monthly fees with it, that's a really good thing. Uh, because many of the other things, you know, there are other programs that will do this kind of stuff like StreamYard and whatnot. Um, but you're going to pay for that. <laughs> and this is going to give you, at least during these next couple of days while this is on special, you'll be able to get this at one low price and use it for whatever you need. And again, the other cool thing about this is you don't have to literally go live. You can upload a video and schedule it out to go as if it's live, which is great. So if you want to record something and you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes, that's one way to do it. Or if you got something pre-produced, that's the way to do it. So very cool stuff. Again, any questions, let me know. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week and a great weekend. And we'll talk to you guys soon.